I'm Ross Murdoch with SUU Grounds. I'm out here in our greenhouse today just showing you a few things that we do for grounds. I've been here for about 17 years and we have responsibility for the flower beds and the pots and containers and baskets on campus. We enjoy making them up and taking care of them over the course of the season and so we'll show you a little bit of what we do and why we like it. I've got in our greenhouse we grow all of these things that we can use on campus and I have here a big pot that will end up someplace here on campus. And you've probably uh, planted your own pots before but let me show you a couple of things that we do. The main thing is that you just make sure that the pot where you're going to put the plants will grow in it. If it's a shady spot they need to be plants that can take the shade or if it's hot and sunny pick your plants accordingly. This pot's going to end up a place that's uh, kind of sunny half the day and shady half the day. So I've picked some plants that would go in there. So uh, just an example, this is a really nice begonia. It's called a begonia big. And that's a, a pretty big plant. And, and I don't need to cram this thing completely full. I leave a little room for them to grow. So I've, and my mix is loose and light, so I'm just going to drop one little guy right there. And one trick is you don't need to slam the soil background. You don't need to pack it to death. It's not like a tree. A tree might blow over in, in our wind, but this soil is loose and you want to keep it loose. So you just put it in there and firm it back in. So that's maybe the first thing is you're not trying to jackhammer this stuff into place. So I'll take a couple more of the same thing. And these are good sized. So it won't take too many plants to, to do this container. So I've slid these two begonias in. I know they'll take sun or shade. And on this pot, I want something that'll flop over the edge. One of the recipes for doing pots is to do a, a thriller, a filler, and a spiller. Thriller is just some nice big plant that's the main thing. Filler would be plants that you put in between and spiller is something that flops over the edge. So maybe I want a little bit of floppers on this edge. This is a good little plant that will flop. And all I need to do is like this, just drop that in. Uh, maybe I'll put another one here for this edge here. So these are going to be a couple of spillers. Drop that one in right there. drop that one in there and then I've got room here in the back maybe three places for something that's not necessarily going over the sides but it's sort of the filler this little coleus is good for that so when you buy plants at the nursery one of the things is if they're totally overgrown when you look at the root ball you'll see nothing but roots it'll be all white if it's not well established it'll be mostly soil this is the perfect stage I don't know if you can see this this is the perfect stage for planting out. It's about 50% roots, 50% soil that you can see through there. That's just right. If you can get plants at this stage, they establish really quickly. So I just dropped a little guy in there. I'll give him a little friend up here. Maybe two more spots. And that's all this pot is gonna need. I don't need to cram it full because it's going to grow for a little while in our greenhouse and I don't want them to be competing so much for light that they don't have any place to grow towards. Oh yeah, and then water. <laughs> so we would water this in thoroughly. We would let it sit in the greenhouse for a few weeks as it starts to fill out. When we're past our frost and we can safely put things out on campus, we put them out. To keep these pretty over the summer, there's a couple of things we do. Some plants will bush out if you pinch the tips out. So on this little coleus right here, it's got a little, a little tip growing up. If I snip this little tip right off, there's two shoots here. I cut one shoot, but I'll get two back. Every time I cut one, I double my money. So that will make this thing bush out. The other thing is the plants in containers, they run out of fertilizer real fast. So find some kind of fertilizer 
There's, stores have lots of different kinds that you can get. Uh, mix up in a little spray bottle or in some water. And maybe every once, oh, probably every couple of weeks, just keep these going with fertilizer because nitrogen runs through the soil and runs out. And if you don't replace it, why the plants don't grow. Well, anyway, those are some of the things we do on grounds. We, uh, we really like this uh, setup that we have here. I personally enjoy this. I like that we can grow unusual things. So this is just a regular planter for sun and shade. But maybe you're not going to do the, the thrill or spiller filler routine. Maybe you just do a plant of succulents that you water huh, once every two weeks. They can be just every bit as beautiful. Or maybe you like just a pot full of herbs. Those are fun that you could use on that. Using your cooking, just a pot of herbs on the back porch. Anyway, it's fun to come over to campus when the flowers get out and walk around and get ideas. And uh, maybe you'll find some fun things that you like to do just from what we do on campus. We sure enjoy it. Thanks.